I am no Jedi. Your power is a weak old man. Always remember, your focus determines your reality. Hello there. General Kenobi. You don't know the power of the dark side. And welcome back to Disciples of the Force. I'm sorry, this week is going to be a super short episode. I'm talking seven minutes max. All right, Austin, he's not feeling good. I don't know. That's what he's claiming. I think he's mad at me, but whatever. I don't want to talk about it. Um, uh, Some news for me. Just moved into our, our new lovely home. It's pretty awesome. So this is my little office where I work from. And do my pods on the side, you know, just a side little gig I got going on. Um, but so to start today off, I do want to jump into just a little bit of Star Wars news. Um, and first off, if you're mad that it's me and not Austin, I get that. I was hoping Austin would have had to do the solo show by himself, but I guess not. Okay. So here we are. Um, so some Star Wars news is they just announced the black edition. I think is the name of it. Series black series. Sorry. Don't, don't yell at me for saying that wrong. Um, and it is going to be including Starkiller, so that's pretty awesome. That's some some cool stuff to look for uh, to buy. I think I'm going to probably buy that. That's a, that's a sick uh, figure to get. Um, next is they announced this, uh, some of the new um, Marvel comics they're doing for Star Wars. It's going to be Mace Windu and uh, Jango Fett, so that's really awesome. Get some stories about them, learn more. Um, it's always good to get some more lore in the Star Wars universe. All right. Um, With that, uh, first off, sorry, let me apologize for last week's audio. That was my bad. I thought maybe we messed something up on our recording. It turns out I just in post, what happened was I had the volume full blast on my computer and I thought that it sounded fine because it sounded like halfway up, but I didn't realize my computer was full blast. So yeah, that sucked. I'm super sorry. I'm probably not going to fix it. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Maybe I will. Maybe I'll have time to go back. Um, but this is good. Just a short episode. So what I want to talk about is I have just finished reading my favorite Star Wars book I've ever read. Um, and by read, we all know that I mean audiobook. I don't have time to just sit down and read pages. I'm a busy guy. Okay. I'm always working, thinking, so whatever. Anyway, name of the book was Dooku Jedi Lost. Um, it was by Kevin Scott. Um, I do recommend reading. I mean, if you want to listen to it on the audiobook, that's what I would recommend. It was awesome. I mean, you like they had a full cast. The music was good, but like every it wasn't like one dude trying to imitate a bunch of voices. It was truly different people acting. So super awesome. Um, I don't. I'm not gonna give out any spoilers. Just some of my thoughts coming off of it. Um, loved it because we look at Dooku and we look at him as this crazy. I mean, kind of just like a mysterious guy. We don't have a lot of the background except for what came out with Tales of the Jedi. Um, and so I really liked getting more into his backstory and how he came, you know, how he went to the dark side. It was really, really awesome. Um, one thing I do want to highlight is he was a lot more evil. I mean, like we knew he was, he wasn't a good guy. I mean, clearly we knew that. Um, but he was a lot more evil. He'd kind of torture with his lightning, uh, uh Ventress. So that was kind of crazy to hear massage. Um, but yeah, really the, I'll give you kind of the preface of the book of what it is, not giving anything away. Basically, it's just, uh, it's Dooku and Visage Ventress talking. I mean, Asajj Ventress, not Visage. <laughs> Asajj Ventress. I don't have Austin here to correct me on these things. So now I'm actually nervous. <laughs> um, uh, and basically Dooku has, wants her to locate his sister because, um, there, you know, it gets into the whole background of how, what is, how he knows his sister and his kind of his background of who he is and all that. So if you follow our TikTok, you actually will see, I posted, um, a uh, snippet of that audiobook. It's uh Count Dooku and um oh I'm forgetting his name. What is that guy's name? Sifo Diaz, that's his name. Sifo Diaz, and they were really good friends when they were younger, so super cool. Um and it talks about how basically like Dooku was like banished for being a Jedi when he was a baby. So that kind of gives you that darkness, like his dad did not want him there. So that really gives you your eyes kind of open to why he kind of had this dark past with him, 
how he was and then you get into how he was exposed to the dark side and how it crept in it's very cool it's honestly i'm not kidding is the best read and it's a short book especially if you do the audiobook i think it's only like six hours seven hours i watch it be like 14 and i'm lying but i think it's only those two hours and um the cool thing about it was that um the what was i gonna say see it's hard when you have someone here you can't you can't be corrected when you lose your train of thought um Oh, sorry. And the other thing you can do, if you don't want to listen forever, just put it on 1.25 speed. It's not too fast. You can still follow, but you, you crank that book out pretty quickly. I, or one, I think I did 1.5. Um, it was 1.5, man. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. This is a terrible, this is worse than our regular podcast with Austin there to help me out to bring in my insight. Uh, no worries. So, um, some other cool things about it is just, so basically you're jumping from the current time to Dooku's past and you're getting like these audio visual messages he's sending his sister and it's so good i really don't want to spoil anything in about it because there's so there's so much lore in there that you can explore and like just giving his character a background and then you're starting to see that he really like i always like to think of him as a, a gray jedi even though they don't exist but you know you kind of see you know there was there's some reasons why he was considered a sith um or to a point you know whatever you can get into the nitty-gritty of that um anyway i can't recommend this book enough though <laughs> probably i'm gonna probably reference it a couple times it was better than the thrawn books for me i did love the first two thrawn books didn't really care for the third one but this was amazing i'm gonna jump into i really wanted to read this one because i wanted to get that background i thought that was awesome i think i'm gonna jump into the from a certain point of view on the originals the original trilogy I'll let you know my thoughts on that. Um, but honestly, yeah, to anyone who's listening, if you want to get into some just good lore, I mean, like the movies are amazing, TV shows are amazing, and you're just wanting more, or you have a podcast and you need to make sure you have all the knowledge on hand when you quote something, <laughs> get into those books. I mean, Disney, when it got the IP, I don't think it did an amazing job at the beginning, but I think at least on the part of like books, they've done an amazing, amazing job. And I think, and of course, Mandalorian was amazing. So they did go in their shows. It really just dropped the ball in the movie. So I don't want to discredit Disney's, um, you know, cause still giving, you know, the ability to make these books that people love for years, you know? And I think also on a side note, I think Disney, I was seeing about this the other day, did such a great job at saying, you know what, let's just make everything that's not a movie you know, televised, whatever, let's just get rid of it and call it not canon and give it legends it was such a smart move because now we're at this part where there's still so much lore out there. That's not canon, but can still be pulled from. I mean, we're hearing this with Dave Filoni that he's um, heir to the empire book has, you know, been a big inspiration for the Ahsoka series, um, which we're excited about. We can't wait to get into uh, next week. We're going to, we're going to do, if you're listening and you're watching Andor with us, we're going to do uh, episode two. And I think we might do three as well. Or maybe just two. I don't know. So if you're watching with us, maybe do three just in case. And if we don't, then you're ready for the next week, okay? Um, we, we, we're we honestly super grateful for all of our listeners. I don't think we can express that enough. It's awesome to hear you guys. And the questions you give us are super sick. Um, our, our anonymous uh, friend uh, gave us a question about um, – uh, he had some insight on what we talked about with Mace Windu last week. So we're going to talk about that next week. I'm sorry. That we didn't get it to this week. Uh, I could attempt to answer it, but Austin has some good takes that I would like to hear what he has to say about it. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think that's really all I got. I mean, what I pushed eight minutes, oh, that's way better than I thought I was going to do. Um, but honestly, thank you guys for listening. Thank you for, if you support us on YouTube, you support us just through the podcast, TikTok, whatever it is, we're super grateful. Um, and thank you for being a disciple of the forest.